You are watching the Jewish Music Report video blog. Welcome to the first edition of the Jewish Music Report video blog. I am Mendel the Sheikhet. Uh, today we'll be doing a CD review. We'll be doing a Chazana CD, Yaakov Lemmer's the Mali Mishali Seno. Before we talk about the album, let's talk about Lemmer himself. Uh, he's a fairly new chazan. I first saw him not that long ago on YouTube. Um, a video of the performance uh, at the annual Chazonis concert in Young Israel of Borough Park. I was blown away. Just the sheer power of his voice, the amount of feeling that he sang with, uh, which I don't think there are many Chazonim in our days that, that have that kind of feeling. Um, his vocal control, uh, which would usually it would be something you now someone much older who's gone through many, many more years of training than he has uh, to uh, display that kind of control. Um, his execution of the coloratura, which is basically the, um, the vocal somersaults that Chazanim do um, in layman's terms, um, was just outstanding. Uh, in short, this guy was the full package. Getting down to the album, uh, there were many things I liked about this album. There was also one kind of major thing I didn't, but um, let's start with the things that I liked about this album. Um, the song selection uh, on this album I thought was great. Uh, nice mix of the old and the new, um, you know, classics from, uh, from Glantz, Rosenblatt, etc., um, as well as newer uh, compositions. The styles were um, very nice mix. Both you had you had your, your uh, Yiddish and you know the more the more Hamish Yiddish type tunes and your more traditional Chazanus type tunes, um, as well as stylistically anything from from Rosenblatt to Hirschman to um, Jan Pierce type uh, pieces, um, and even. Uh, one piece that had a lot of Moshe Aisher in it, both in terms of uh, the vocal styling and the arrangements. As for the quality of production, uh, everything was top-notch. Uh, the recording quality of both the uh, the vocals, the instruments, uh, were just very crisp, uh, crystal clear. Uh, the uh, the mix was done perfectly. Uh, everything is placed where it should be. <clears throat> uh, in, in other words, it gives the impression of you know you can hear. It seems like he's standing here, and uh, you know the piano is there, and the uh, the cello is there. Um, great job with the mix. Everything, uh, you know, all the um, the the levels of the different elements being um, you know appropriate. Um, the mastering job as well was uh, top notch. Um, everything sounds right. Um, I've tried listening to this on a cheap CD player on a computer uh, on a on um, a good car stereo um, on good speakers. Uh, and across the board, um, everything sounds, all the levels are where they should be. The uh, arrangements and conducting was done by Dr. Mordechai Sobel, uh, who you may recognize from Chazen Helfgatz. Uh, CDs, um, and I think he's part of what lends a lot of the success to this album because I mean, when it comes to someone, a professional who knows what he's doing, um, Doctor Sobel is it. Um, the arrangements are just completely in par with uh, with you know with uh, classical opera 
um, uh, music, and just his arrangements are are creative and um, just very contemporary. <laughs> On the other hand, I think this also brings a little bit of a of an issue to the table, or what created a problem for me, anyways, um, is that I think when you have someone as seasoned as Dr. Sobel and someone newer like um, Yankee Lemmer, so you have you know the the newer person will tend to kind of lean on the um, on the seasoned uh, pro, which is natural. Um, however, it leads to the problem that. Um, I think they didn't quite explore Lemmer as um, you know an individual artist that was kind of seemed like he was being leaned more toward you know kind of towards a Helfgott sort of style which works great for Helfgott. Um but I just feel that Lemmer has so much to offer in his own right just from what I've seen uh, and I don't think they fully utilized um, his capabilities, um, and instead, kind of went with with a uh, you know a, a classic format um, that's used for other chazanim. <laughs> At the end of the day, um, it's a great album. Uh, it was definitely worth listening to. Um, just with the, with the voice, the, the, the control, the, the selection of songs, the arrangements, everything. Um, it's a top-notch album, but on the next one, Mir Hashem, I would really enjoy seeing them um, really focusing on uh, Yankee Lemmer as a chazan in his own right and you know his potential and what, what he has to offer, kind of his own individual style, more of the... Hartzig style, then you know, maybe kind of cutting back a little bit on like the more Italian opera sort of uh, sort of style that, while it works, you know, very well for other chazanim and uh, even for him to some degree. But I think just the, the you know, to really focus in on that Hartzig style that I think um, he really really uh, shines at. Um, anyways, it's been great fun, and uh, we'll see you soon on another edition of the. Jewish Music Report video blog.